Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to create procedural paper planes inside Houdini. So before we move into Houdini, I would like to inform you that for this particular tutorial, I am going to use one HDA that is N knife and you can download that HDA in the link given in description. And if you want to learn this HDA, I already created one tutorial for that uh, you can see over here Houdini tutorial create digital assets and knife so you can learn by this tutorial and I also add the link for the same tutorial in description so you can find over there so let's move into Houdini so first of all for this tutorial we are going to create a recipe to design paper plane and after that we give this recipe to Houdini and it create some random paper planes out of that recipe. So first of all, I'll show you how this paper plane we are going to create. So uh, likewise, uh, I show you how we mold or fold this particular paper plane. So we have width, height, we have this center fold and uh, what we are going to do like we fold like this like this like this like this 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 we in our real life we turn this paper like this then maybe 70 degree 70 degree then 80 degree and maybe 80 degree like this Okay, so that's how we are going to create a paper plane in real life, like same way. So now this is the procedural paper plane so that we can, if we can change the paper size over here, we can easily get the different shape of the paper plane. So let's start to create the recipe for paper plane. So first of all, I'm going to create one geometry. I just double click inside now I create one null operator and I just select null operator and I just change the shape of that null operator even by pressing C I can change the color of that particular operator and now I give name it as controllers okay and uh, over here in the parameter panel I just select edit parameter interface and over here I create some parameter like I select this float information I click over here I just name it as PW that is paper width and over here I just set range to 15 to 25 and in channel I just set default parameter is 20 and I just apply it so here we get that parameter same way we create one more float information name it as ph that is your paper height range to 25 to 35 and default value maybe 30 and apply okay so same way I am going to create some more parameter likewise I create one center fold name it as CF then I create one folder that is fold controllers and over here I create first fold second fold third fold fourth fold and I just define the value to 0 to 180 5, 6, paper rotation that is also from 0 to 180, 7 folds, 8 fold, 9 fold, and 10 folds. The same way you can just create one float and just name it as, for example, for float F01, F02, F02, F04, and for paper rotation PR. Okay, so I just apply it 
and over here we get these things okay now I just change some interface workspace of my Houdini so what I prefer is that uh, I always need these parameters of this controller so for that I just pin or lock this parameter panel for controllers over here and over here I just click and I just select parameter so this is fixed parameter and this is my active parameter so whatever operator I selected the parameter for that operator show over here and this is my fixed parameter so to create the recipe of paper plane what would I like to do is I create one grid and over here for width and height I would like to call this value so I just right click copy parameter over here I just right click and paste a relative reference same way I just select copy parameter right click over here and paste a relative reference okay and I just decrease the segment by 2 by 2 okay so whatever you change over here it reflect on your grid now over here what I prefer I just unwrap these things so that we can easily apply some texture and all those stuff over here so I just unwrap and this is a simple plain surface so it easily I just uh, click spacebar 5 and you can see the unwrapping of this particular thing is look like this now I again space 1 now I just apply one UV quick shader so now this is my front and all the stuff so now to fold this or to create the paper plane I need one fold from the center so over here I use one hand knife HDA okay so I just hand knife apply one loop or one cut over here but with multiple segment that is the beauty of this HDA so over here what I prefer I just said distance 2.16 division to 8 and rotate it to 90 degree so we get one center fold like over here now we fold paper like from over here like that so we need some more segments or more fold seam over here so for that I create one more and knife tool same way I just defined 0.168 segments and over here I apply the degree to 45 degree and I need these segments just from here so for that uh, this is my height so I need height divided by 2 so for that I just copy this parameter and in Z I just apply minus right click paste relative reference divide by 2 okay so it's move over here so whenever you change the height of this particular thing like 26 it automatically apply a fold over here so same way we need one more cut or segment over here so I just duplicate this thing by pressing alt and come over here and over here I just apply minus 45 degree now we need to apply band over here because we need to band these things so for that I just apply one band operator and we need band controllers over here 
so for that we have to come over here capture origin and for that we need again this copy parameter paste relative reference divide by 2 and just apply minus so my band centers come over here now I need to apply this to minus 1 0 and minus 1 okay so I give a proper direction for these things now over here I just apply 0 0.01 and over here for to band this thing I create this one the center fold so I just copy relative reference and I just paste relative reference over here okay so now through this we can control this band okay same way I just duplicate this thing come over here and I apply fold number 2 there is second fold and over here we need to change the direction to 1 okay so now through second controller second fold controller we can easily control this thing okay now we need one center fold okay so for that I apply one more and knife tool and this is my center fold so I just copy these things copy parameter and over here in TZ I apply just paste the relative reference so this is my center fold now I apply one more band over here and over here we just apply in my capture origin paste related reference that is your center fold okay because we need to fold from here and I just define my direction to 0 0 and minus 1 so this controls comes over here and the capture length should be 0 0.02 and over here in band I just copy this third fold copy parameter and paste relative reference over here so through this third fold we can fold these things now we need two more segments over here to fold these things like here so we need one more and knife tool over here point two distance segments eight and over here we need this center fold so I just copy these things and apply over here paste relative reference and over here we need again 45 degree So we get these segments like this okay now I just duplicate this scene for that mirror segments and over here just minus 45 degree so we need we get this two 45 degree segments now we need to again bend these things so I just apply one more band modifier over here I just define the center paste relative reference so it's come over here now this should be minus 1 0 and 1 okay and this is point zero 0.04 I just set it to maybe minus one yes now we need a band like this so for that we need this fourth fold 
so copy parameter paste relative reference over here like this now we need one more band node so I just press alt and duplicate this thing come over here just change the direction to like this but we need the fold number 5 ok now the tricky thing is that we need to apply one segments over here and we need to fold these things over here but if you apply one segment over here it will also apply that segment on this back side paper or back side surface of these things so for that what I prefer we just apply from here so over here we apply one hand knife tool and here I just copy these things copy the center fold paste relative reference minus paper width so copy parameter just paste relative reference divide by 2 so basically uh, the fold should be over center fold minus paper width divided by 2 so ok it's come over here I just increase the segments like this like this ok now we need to rotate it over here so we need one band operator ok just come over here I copy these things copy parameter I just come into bad node I just come over here in capture origin I just apply paste relative reference over here and this is minus one and capture length should be 0 0.01 ok and we have one more fold that is fold number 6 so I just copy parameter paste relative reference and over here I just apply minus because we need to rotate these things in minus direction so like this so if I just set it over here I come over here and now if I apply this sixth fold so now you see it gave me good result so now we need to rotate this thing because whenever you app, uh, create the paper plane in real world we need to apply one transform and over here this is paper rotation so I just copy these things copy parameter over here in Z paste a relative reference so now it rotated this thing like that now we need to apply this center fold but before we that we need to apply some segments over here so for that so I just apply over here and knife tool and over here I just apply 0.2 segments 8 again we need this center fold location so I just copy parameter right click paste relative reference so we get but we need over here a rotation should be 67.5 that is 90 minus 22.5 now I just duplicate these things by press alt key press Y and just cut it and set it over here and over here minus 67.5 degree now we need to bend these things so over here I apply 
one band and this is seventh number band so I just copy these things copy parameter over here paste relative reference okay and over here we just need to change and over here minus one zero and zero point zero two so it's fold like this and we just need to apply just minus over here okay so same way I just duplicate this thing joint it over here and just apply fold number 8 and just change the direction to 1 so after applying transform it looks like this okay now we need to rotate these things from here so it is little difficult so what we prefer before we applying this two band we need to apply band over here so I just apply band so this is nine number fold but before we apply these things I just prefer we apply this copy center fold copy parameter just paste relative reference and over here for capture direction we need some value that assign this direction so for that what we apply just apply minus sign bracket 67.5 and over here minus cos 67.5 so it give you a proper direction for these things okay and now I apply this copy parameter paste it over here paste the relative reference and over here in capture length we should apply 0 0.04 like this now I just duplicate this thing press Y I just connect it over here and over here we just need to change this sign to minus 2 plus and over here fold number 10 and now if I just see over here you get this paper plane okay so this is fully controlled paper plane and this is the recipe for that thing okay now you can easily modify these things from here okay so I just set it like this now if you change the paper plane with even change the center fold maybe minus one and you get different different variation for that so now this is my recipe and now we need some variance or some random size paper random fold and all those stuff so for that what we going to do so this is my recipe so I just create one null over here now I create one grid and I set size 100 by 80 or 100 segment 2 maybe 3 3 or maybe 4 4 now I just apply one add operator and over here I just delete the geometry and keep the points only so here we get some points now I just apply one point jitter just increase scale by 8 not in Y and like this 
now here i use one copy stamp operator so here we need to apply the primitives to be copy and here we need to apply some points a point cloud so right now it copy everything now the beauty of the stamp is that it allows us to send data back to our tree okay so what i am going to do see the beauty of this hudni i just select once again i just and we do not need these things so i just increase the size so i just select this copy i just go to stamp over here we need to activate this stamp input and over here we create some parameter like www and over here i apply random dollar pt or you can also apply at the rate pt num so it's give you the numbers of that particular point now over here it's it's give you result between 0 and 1 so i just apply fit in bracket this rand pt comma that is your 0 and 1 and we need to apply this value to maybe 18 to 25 so this is uh, it generate the value between like 18 between 18 to 25 okay so this is ww now i just apply one hh i just copy these things paste it over here and just i define that 25 to maybe 32 again i create one sim variable i just paste it over here and over here i just define maybe minus 1.5 to 1.5 okay so i just define this variable so it's uh, generate random value according to the point now i just select this thing controller and over here i just select the controller and for with thing i just apply stamp in bracket double inverted comma dot dot then this and copy one like this comma double inverted comma ww the variable we create and slash comma zero bracket over now i just copy this stamp copy paste it over here and over here i just apply hh and over here i apply sim now you see we get some random paper planes again okay, now you need some more variation so for that i just select copy and i just apply rand Uh, dollar pt into maybe two over here into maybe five over here into maybe four point one like this. So now you just need to increase this maybe five by five. Now you see. every paper plane has some different paper size different fold variation and all those stuff so we get some different different paper plane so this is the beauty of hudni okay so hope you like this tutorial I'll see you soon with another tutorial thank you